morning. It's a beautiful day here in the Ozarks. It's uh, just starting out to be so beautiful. I'm really enjoying being out on the porch. And I wanted to run a few thoughts out there into your ears. I wanted to say that it seems to me that we're living in a time, perilous times, where people are trying to, you know, ignore it and keep cool and calm and not talk about it because of intimidation tactics of parties that are present everywhere with their little, you know, their little pawns everywhere. But I wanted to say... Do not fear man, and fear of man is a snare. You have to use your existing freedom that you still have to speak the truth in love and speak the gospel, the good news. Don't keep parroting the bad news, because the bad news is not going to make people have a remedy or feel better. It's not going to solve the problem. Here's what solves the problem right here. And you know, the Lord said, what's said in secret would be uttered, would be shouted on the rooftops. That's before satellite and TV and news all over the world, see? Everything that God in person said will come to pass. It will come to pass, and it has been coming to pass without fail. Now, there's a thing called the Bible Code, and Brother Martin just did a new one on Kamala Harris. And uh, the last one was in April. I was worried it wasn't him anymore because I didn't see anything. And he changed his uh, picture, uh, cover, photo. But anyway, it is apparently still him. But the one in April talked about, you know, the Bible code is embedded in the Bible, in the original Aramaic or Hebrew text. I'm not sure which it was originally scribed in, probably Aramaic, Hebrew. But I have been following the Bible codes that code searchers have been finding, which the Pentagon and all the universities of the world have verified as existing and the accuracy is beyond the realm of coincidence beyond its staggering numbers in quantum physics of it of it being beyond coincidence so they use it they know it's real it's been put in there by the creator our headlines it has dates it has all the works of Shakespeare, the day he was born, the day he died, Hitler, what he did, Zyklon B, evil man. It has Oklahoma bombing, Timothy McVeigh it is his name, and the date he did it. It has Edison light bulb. It has probably your name in it. It, it, it crisscrosses and threads with equidistant letter sequences, which a computer can um, find, see, now that we have computers. And Yaakov Ramzel did it by hand. He actually did it himself manually, some of them. R-A-M-B-S-E-L. But the Bible is written supernaturally by the Holy Spirit. And men wrote down what the Holy Spirit inspired them. So the best thing you can do these days is get your direction from the everlasting word in the word while you still can get a hold of a copy before they take them away because we're in the time of the famine it will be famine of the word of God and food the food has already started so that's the third seal and uh, I hope you all have a blessed day but you need to pray and you need to fear God and keep his commandments for the whole duty of man, it says in the end of 
and the end of um, the book Solomon wrote, what was the book I'm thinking of? Ecclesiastes. And he was the most wise man. He was the most wise man that ever lived. And I know I didn't even wash my face this morning. But I'm not going to put myself on camera. But I, he said, this is the whole duty of man, fear God and keep his commandments. And elsewhere in the word it says, what does the Lord require of you but to do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God? Don't try to carry on as if, don't put your head in the sand and think things are going to go back to normal. The Word of God predicts the ruination of civilization. It's happening. Wake up. The true woke are the people who follow the Word of God and know they know their God and they will do great exploits and they will not fear and they will keep their sanity in these crazy perilous times. God bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you all and give you peace. I've got to go up to the chicken coop. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.